Hey there, everybody. So we're going to jump right into this. This is section three of a short little series that we're doing on 3D Vista. Jody's here with me. She's more of an expert on 3D Vista than I am, and I am rich. So you probably know both of us from azdrone.net. And thanks for stopping in. We had these requests about learning 3D Vista. So we've been learning along with you, making mistakes which is why I deleted the last video. That's how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we're re-recording today. So we're going to we're going to keep this one uh, a little simpler and a little shorter. Now uh, 3D Vista has got a lot of tools. Yes. It, it can include 360 videos, regular videos, photos, floor plans. They've got educational seminar layouts right here, e-learning. Then you got your standard 360 um, panos. Yep which is what we're working with right now. So on the first and second videos that we made here, we did simple panos. Mm -hmm. We didn't get elaborate. Um, so we did exterior aerial uh, panos with our drones, and then we did interior 360s as well. Um, and we've put them all together here. So you've seen this already. So if you've seen uh, the first and second installments here. Yeah. I want to address something, you know, forget videos, forget 360 videos, because the next question often is, I want to share this. How do I share it? Yeah, so I'm not done. I'm building it, but I want to share it with folks to get feedback or, you know, this is this is the final version. But so there are several ways to share with 3D Vista. Um, some of it's a little painful. It's not... Um like some of 3d vista it's not intuitive yeah so <laughs> unlike some of the other uh, uh the other piano builders the virtual tour builders um this is a little more complex and um you know so it feels a little like maybe you're going to be out out of your comfort zone and i understand that and i'm going to show you why we're going to go down so we're not playing with anything up here we want to share this we want to get this out there so we have a couple of options I don't want to talk about all of them. I'm going to unclick this. So number one, 3D Vista also has their own hosting service. Yes. So we use Kula for a lot of our presentations, and we're going to see if we can, you know, incorporate 3D Vista now as well. But so number one, they've got this cloud hosting. It is not free. No, but um, I believe when you buy 3D Vista, you get a year free. Yeah, we, we did get a year with it Which free. We did not utilize. And that was my that was my fault. Medical thing last year kept me down, so we didn't get to work on this. So here we are back, and now we don't even get to try out their cloud. Um, the cloud services work similar to you know Cloud Pano, Kula, uh, yeah. you know all the other ones out there. So there are others. This is just a higher end uh, virtual tour system, but so you could sign up for their cloud presenter and then email links um, to folks to be able to see mm -hmm. you know have them come here or maybe an embed code in your WordPress, uh, in your WordPress app. Uh, but we don't have that one right now. If you want to experiment with it, um, you can, you, you can get to experiment with it when you're testing out 3D Vista. So the next option here is web and mobile. So here's something really cool. If you have your own website, we have a bunch of websites, yep. um, azdrone.net, cmybuild.com and all others out there. But, um, I can, in fact, upload the presentation to my um, WordPress installation. Yes. So here's the thing though, it gets complicated. So I clicked on web mobile. I'm going to check it. Okay. Um, and we're going to try to be quick about this because there are a couple others, but so I'm checking it off saying, Hey, I want to build a, um, a installable um, module for, for WordPress. Yes. Um, so Number one, URL absolute. You're actually going to... So this is probably going to go right over your head here, okay? Um, first, let's go over here. Export stereo video. Um, I'm not including this. I, I looked at a little uh, video earlier. Um, let's see here. And some of these have changed. Uh, so for just a moment, I just want to show you. So um, it is out there. Brand new offline virtual tours. And they do talk about running it from your own personal server. They do. However, this particular page is very, um, very outdated. Yep, um, very, very. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that none of the publish icons 
or options mm -hmm. are the well the web and mobile and the hosting are kind of the same and you got the google street view but there's it's outdated yeah yeah and so we're not gonna build this whole thing for you you're gonna need to play with it yourself as yeah. well um, when we're finished with our overall project, maybe we'll take you through this, but we're just giving you that quicker overview. But so image optimizer. So I've got several items that you're going to need to read up on. And then the URL absolute, that is the actual web page. So we've already made a page we, and, and it's blank. There's nothing in it. And so we need to put the exact web page link. So it could be cmybuild.com slash tour slash uh, 3D Vista. Uh, that's an example. I'm not yeah. going to type that all up. And then you can have an icon for the tour. And in the meantime, you need, to, you need to send this out somewhere. I need to export this before I'm uploading. I need to get it on my desktop. And so I'm going to go to desktop. There we go. And we're going to open the desktop. And let's see here. So I would like to actually, I wanted to um, do desktop and then new folder here because I don't want to mess. So 3D Vista uh, server. Okay. So we're going to make that new folder there and we're going to open that. So now down here, it's going to go to users, studio, desktop, 3D Vista server. And so that's where it's going to land on my desktop. So we're going to pretend that we knew what we were doing here because <laughs> there's still some more tools, um, live guided tour, and then they have tiny little read mores as well. Yep. So you might want to check those out, but let's say we're ready. I'm going to go ahead and say publish. So there should be a new folder on my desktop called 3d Vista server. Yep. And then inside of it, it should have all of the components that what they're suggesting is, you use FTP, File Transfer Protocol, to upload to that particular page on your WordPress server. Yes. So, so it's, if you're not used to running your overall website, um, this is, this is going to be a challenging way to do it, but you can do web and mobile then. So we could have, um, you know, mobile on our phones to show people the, uh, the um, presentations, or we can pull it up on this web address. By the way, don't go try the um, desktop slash 3D server or anything. You can't get access to that. So it's taking a moment, and then we're going to jump into the next major one, which was one of the ones that got our attention. It's the standalone. The standalone. Yeah. So. I'm curious how big these are going to be, because yes. typically it can run anywhere from... 250 megs to 675 megs and larger depending on how much stuff you have in your tour yeah so, so it says our tour has been created so let's i let's minimize this and minimize this i guess the size is really something to keep in mind if you're putting it onto your on if you're your throwing own it server. onto your own server if you're yeah. throwing it onto your wordpress site that's you, that's lot that's huge that's sizable it's going to take a minute yep and then it's going to take a minute for downloading and everything yep. And so bandwidth could become an issue. So all these things, if you're hosting on your own server, um, you know, you could run up, run through a lot of drive space quick. Yes. And then get nasty messages from your hosting provider. Yeah. All right. So here is the folder, 3D Vista server. And inside of this, this is what I would be uploading to my WordPress server. And then in the end, we're going to have the primary link for that's going to be index.htm when we fire that up here it says uh-uh so we could we could drag that html file into the uh the tour um the tour viewer app but so that that at least shows us okay you know something is there and um let me go back on this one let's just air out oh, no we're gonna have to minimize and just take a look again um so there's that folder and let's find out Let's just find out because we have not built a full thing yet. Oh, it's relatively small. 155.2 megs. That's so. Yeah, that's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But we could still build onto this more and then that's going to get yeah. larger and larger. All right. So you can, in fact, host on your own server. We're not going into any depth on this at all. Sorry. But because um, yeah. it will be time consuming. It would have to walk you through me logging into my WordPress site 
and then uploading via, via file transfer protocol. Yep. Just not the easiest thing. This still makes very pretty um, uh, presentations, so don't get us wrong. So the next one, I'm going to unclick this and we're going to, you know, we can talk about VR apps at another point in time, but we're more focused to people. There's who, not a lot of people looking at virtual tours of homes yeah. uh, using an Oculus. Yeah. Or you can also do Google Street View as well, which could be its own standalone. So let's talk about the standalone player for a minute. You can actually export a player for Windows and for Mac. Mm -hmm and you can put them on a thumb drive and you know give it to somebody at a presentation or whatever um once we've uh, opened this up open the zip files up you can pop it onto kiosks you can pop it onto uh, you know windows servers uh larger mac systems and you know. people like having things to interact with so yeah. having it on like if you're doing real estate having it on a kiosk inside one of the model homes that's a tour of the entire area or the entire development. Um, it's people like being able to touch stuff and have it go places. Yeah. It's and, all about the interaction. And so over here, you'll see um, here, because it's the, the text is just so damn small. Um, we're gonna save Windows and save the Mac version. And I'm also going to have it save as a zip. And then we've got I guess we can go to full. No. no, okay. I don't like full screen startup. Okay, so now what would happen, folks, is I would go over here and hit publish. Yep. But I already did that, so we don't take up so much time. It's saving so much time. <laughs> saving a lot of time. So let me minimize this here. But so I used, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the server one, move to trash. But we've got class January Windows dot zip, so that would be for the Windows. And you folks. can see how big it is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 441 megs. Yep, so not small. And then class January tar. Uh, so that is a zip for the um, Apple. So it is going to open up a folder for me in just a moment. Um, or maybe just many moments. Jeopardy music. Seriously, there we go. Is, okay. It's, you know, I was just sitting here saying, is it the uh, tar zip? Or... All right, so there it goes. And so sometimes you will find yourself waiting. And this is not a low-end uh, uh, Mac Studio. So this is just... It doesn't matter what you're running. You could have yeah. the newest, greatest, largest RAM, all that. Yeah. And it's going to go just as fast on that as it does on my 2022 base model iMac yeah. M1. Yep. Yeah. And it really is the same. So, all right, we've got the folder open now. And so this was just kind of odd the first time I used it. I'm like, what am I doing here? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Anybody want to give me some instructions? They... But once you open it, you want to open up the app. So this is going to be our viewing app. And it's taken a moment the as December well. December 31st, 1979, kind of. December 31st, 1979. Sure. Hey, I was, I was a child of the 70s. So. All right. I know it is coming up and we'll go point down here. And sure enough, yep. there it is. The and again, it doesn't matter how powerful your computer is. It's just going to take This is just what time. it's going to do. But when it works yep. and everything starts going, you're like, okay, it was worth the extra minute and a half waiting for something to All open. Right. So now we've got this player and I'm going to just move this down for a sec. So drag and drop your virtual tour folder. Well, I don't have anything that says virtual tour folder but I do have a folder that says data. So I'm dragging that here and look at this. So it's opening up, it's, this is its own standalone application. So if I gave this to you and you're a Windows user, it's gonna come up. If I gave this to you and you're a Mac user, it's gonna come up. So it's loading the virtual tour and once it has it up, you can just have it cycle through over and over again. So it's resolving everything right now. And as you can see, there's our, uh, there's our travel button. But it's still taking a moment. It's rendering as it's on yeah. go here. But, you know, once it's basically ran through itself, you know, a couple of images, um, it, everything's going to look And you great. can see how much clearer the images are in yes. the final product as opposed to when you're linking everything in, in um, 3D Vista. Because yeah. it'll always do a lesser quality because it just lets you move faster. Yeah. Yeah, and so let me go back over here, and I just want to see. I'm clicking out here, so we're at point number two. Okay, there's that tour, and if I click on it, it brings me right in. Yep. And once again, this could be on your Windows or on your Mac. I'm handing over a thumb drive to you, or we're doing a Dropbox download, and now you've got your presentation all set. Mm -hmm. So very simple. 
And I'm going to go ahead and turn that tour off. There you go. And so there, once again, there's that folder that um, we can, you know, automatically have an application that's going to run this. And every time you export, you will always get something in the folder. You'll always get app in the folder. There yep. will always be that. It's not something that you install onto your computer. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's this is just how they have it come out even today. So now I'm going to pop back up to here. So. You know, this is part three. We're still trying to keep, keep it a little streamlined, a, a little shorter. But um, in the next couple of sections, we'll actually be building some more. And then we'll come back to this. But I know people want to know, hey, how do I publish this? Well, number one way to publish it is to um, is to use their cloud service. Yep. And if you feel comfortable with uploading to your own websites and having to go through that, um, then the web and mobile could be really interesting to you. But the quickest, easiest, and most cost-effective, cheapest yeah. way would be the standalone player. Yep. Throw it on a thumb drive, throw it onto the Dropbox, whatever, yep. and whoever and gets give it, it to good your client, to go. And then they can play it. And always include a little bit of instruction for your client, just in case. Yep. Don't assume everyone's smart is one thing that I've learned. <laughs> I know it's mean, but it's just, it's a fact. It is. Don't assume everyone's smart. Yep especially with this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. So we're wrapping this one up and let us know what you think of this down in the comments here, because yep. we're deciding how much based on comments and views and things, we're going to decide how far we actually go with this series. Because if there's not much interest on channel, um, we've got other things that we can do as well. So we'd like to hear from you and see, no, Rich, we'd like you to move on to a different topic. You know, just let us know. And I do know a bunch of people out there are interested in this. Yeah, if people like it. It's not for everyone. If you don't like it, let us know. But yeah. even if you, you know, it's like, well, I'm not going to use it, but I like seeing this. Yeah, that's yeah, fine too. Yeah. We're happy to make more. Yep. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next video.